Hey YouTube, Rove Five Academy here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you to use the new live animation feature that Roblox has added. And although it's still in beta, there are a few things we can get out of the way, and we can know for sure. Right now, since it's still in beta, there are a few bugs that are going around with it. But I'm here to address some questions and show y'all how y'all can still use it to y'all advantage right now, even though it's in early beta. And before we get started, in the description you'll find some commonly asked questions I give my answers to. And if you have any more questions, just make sure to comment them down below and I'll try and get to them when I can. But these questions I have already addressed, so this way in the video, when something comes up, you'll be more aware of what's going on. For those of you who don't have the live action creation already set up in your Black Studio, all you need to do is click File, go down to Beta Features, and then you can find Live Creation at Creator. After you tick the box, you can then click Save, but sometimes you might already have that done, but for some reason it isn't showing up on your rig. You can then just go back, uncheck it, and then check it again, and then save it, restart Studio, and then you should see it show back up. Delete the spawn, you want to spawn an R15 rig. You want to create it, and then you can go ahead and paste your animation in there. So after the animation fully renders, you'll see that the recording you have taken has now worked. It's an animation. So now I'm going to show you you can use an R6 rig to make it work with an R15, because really what this thing is doing is it's looking for certain body parts, like names, like right upper arm, left upper arm, things like that. So we're just going to do two methods. We're going to sh I'm going to show you one method, which is universal rigging, and then we're just going to do modified rigging. So universal rigging is where you make two rigs into one. So I'm going to show you right here with this R6 rig. I'm going to just do a little modifications. I'm going to delete the head, and I'm going to make the position of the R15 the same as the R6. This way, they're both in the same pattern. It looks like a regular R6 rig. But you're going to take it a step further. You're going to delete the humanoid, human root part, and delete everything in the torso, just making the parts, the parts alone before ungrouping it in the R15. Then you want to go ahead and make everything in the R15 invisible by making the transparency 1. This way it looks like a regular R6 rig. And then you want to go, and I use Easy Weld for this, but you want to go grab each part and just weld it together so the torso gets welded to the upper torso, the right arm gets uh, welded to the upper right arm. And you're just creating joints for all these different parts so this way it follows those parts via the animation. So I'm just going to do that real quick and then you'll see. So after you're done jointing all the parts together, you can go open up the animation again, and as you can see, the parts follow what the other parts we joined them to. So that means it's following the upper arms, it's following the legs, the torso, and the head just stays the same, because the head is just named the same. So now you can see that R6 is now fully functioning with this live animation, and it's smooth just as the other ones were. Now there's one unique thing you can actually do, is you can actually export this animation and put it in Moon Animator. Again, I'll put the Moon Animator in the description below. And you can actually uh, modify the anim animation itself. Because right now, you can click around the keyframes, but the keyframes won't respond because it's full animation. So doing it this way, you can have more control of what you want to do. The legs right now aren't looking so good, so I can easily delete the frames of the legs and then mod 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 uh, modify them myself. This way, I can move the legs however I want and make a proper animation with any part. This way, it's not just limited towards the animation itself, or I have to get it perfect in one go. I can modify it and still have the arms moving smooth as ever. If you try to upload the same animation to an R6, it actually won't work and it might just move the head, and that's just because the parts aren't named the same. And that's where we get to modified rigging, where you modify the rig to have the same name or the same parts as another rig, this way the animation works. As you can see here, and even in Moon Animator, if you try to add that animation, nothing happens, just, just purely because it cannot find the parts via the parts itself. So, to transfer an R15 rig animation to an R6 rig, you need to make sure that the parts of the R6 are named the same as an R15 rig, which means that the left arm is now named left upper arm with no spaces, and the right leg is now named right upper leg with no spaces. And after you make sure all the body parts are named the same, you want to go ahead and actually do one more step, which is add a lower torso, but still only R6 has only one torso, so you want to duplicate the torso, put it in the same position, 
and you want to size it back down to how a lower torso usually is before you join everything together and then this way everything will work out because it's going to look for the lower torso and after it finds the lower torso it's going to find the right arm and etc because that's how it looks for the animation and what parts to give the animation to so i'm just going to copy and paste the animation into the r6 and as you can see and now it works but it looks a little weird because the arms are like out of place for some reason and that's mainly because it isn't rigged properly and i'll show you how to do that actually in one second but if you'd like to properly get an understanding of how to rig a model then you can go down in the description below and i'll put my youtube video of how i rig models myself and how i prefer it but you just want to use rig light and you want to copy the same path or anchor points as an r15 which means that you want to grab these anchor points and you want to move them over and put them towards the shorter or the top part of the torso and you might want to move the head down a little bit before you move the legs up that means everything is still on par with it and after you do that you can just open up that animation again and when you open up the animation it might be a little distorted by the parts or the keyframes you had last so you just want to re-upload that animation or delete the keyframes re-upload the animation and you should see that everything is now fixed and the animation looks just the same as the R15 animation with everything working. The legs are a little odd, but like I said before, you can just delete the leg parts and animate them yourself with the new, uh, well not new, but the moon animation itself. You just can delete the legs and reanimate them yourself. But that's basically how you make the R15 rig work with an R6 rig, and R6 rig work with R15 animations. So now on to custom rigging. I'm going to use a random model I found in Toolbox to be an example of how you can either use universal rigging or modified rigging. For this I'm going to use modified rigging because it's way simpler. You just have to rename all the parts basically and then you need to just rig it and for it to work. So I'm just going to do that again like I did for the R6 real quick and then I'm going to rig it and then it should just work the same way for the R15 animation. And yeah, that's it. That's what it looks like with a custom rig. Now, I did go one step further again and use an animal for the animation, and it just completely broke. Even with the technique of making it modified or universal, it still completely broke the animation, and not, although I'm not saying that's impossible, it just doesn't work. If you're looking for a software to edit down your videos into 15 seconds or less, I would really recommend DaVinci Resolve. It's what I used for my videos, and it's also what I used to edit my clips alone. And that already made me have a comfortable realization that if you do edit your clip to one second, you can actually see the keyframes and edit them. But if that's only if you want to keep uploading every one second, which can be annoying. But I did you also use it to upload GIFs and other YouTube videos into the Roblox Studio which gave me interesting results because it didn't work but it did like show the arms moving and things like that which means that it can read different things and it doesn't need to be a human doing it in a way it just needs to be a humanoid with a, a full humanoid body so this made me venture into more humanoid things and I'm also going to put this in the description but I found this site that shows a full list of animations and you can kind of get them right but not exactly but yeah that's how you can have the live animation creator work with R6 and custom rigs as well as the R15 and as this develops and it comes out of beta and new things come out and plugins come out for it I'm sure it'll be a lot better to use but it really is a good thing for now something extraordinary on Roblox and I'll see if I can keep y'all updated on it but here's just like an initial review of it and how you can still get around with it so I hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure to like comment and subscribe until next time and as always peace